it's time for fun! Hello, and welcome back to the Cubby House. If you haven't been joining us in the Cubby House for a few weeks, or if this is your first time coming along, we've been learning about God and his people in the book of Exodus. Yes, we've heard lots of stories about God's people and how he rescued them from slavery. At the same time, Meg and Megan had their own rescue story as they set off on a mouse hunt to rescue a mouse named Brownie from a mean monster. Then, after Meg and Megan rescued Brownie the mouse, they set off on a journey with Brownie to find his home. At the same time, we were learning about how God's people set off on a journey with God through the wilderness to learn what it means to live with God. And just like Brownie wants to live with his family, God wants to live with his people. God told the Israelites to build him a special tent so he could live with them every day. I do hope Meg and Megan can help Brownie find his home so he can live with his family every day. And I hope God's people build his tent following God's instructions. Me too. Do you want to watch Meg and Megan's video update and see how they're journeying? Let's watch together. Welcome back to the Cubby Boat. Last week, Brownie remembered that his name means Island of the Ram. So we're looking for an island with a big ram-shaped rock on top of it. We've had no luck so far. I'm starting to get really frustrated because we've been sailing and looking for so long. But last week we learned that God's name means he's slow to get angry. So I'm trying to be like God and be slow to anger too. That's an excellent way to put a Bible story into practice. We also learned that God's name meant he is kind, even when people don't deserve his kindness. Like when the Israelites made a golden cow to worship instead of God. God forgave them, even though they'd sinned. Megan, I know the Israelites did the wrong thing when they built that golden calf, but after God forgave them, did they do the right thing? Did they build the tabernacle? That's our next Bible story. How about you grab your Bible and I'll get mine and we'll be right back. Welcome back. The Lord gave his people special instructions on how to journey with him. He taught them to put up a special tent so that God could live with his people every day. And now everything was ready. Oh yay! God's people had obeyed. They made the special tent just like they were told. Was God really ready to come and live with his people? He sure was. Are you ready to hear what happened next? God came to live with his people. A big cloud came and rested on the top of the tent. Now God's people could live every day with God. They could journey with him too. Hooray! That reminds me of what the Bible says about us living with God. Jesus came to earth to die for us so that we can live with God every day. Yes, I have that story right here. Then Jesus sent his Holy Spirit so that we journey with God. Just as God wanted to spend every day with his people, God wants to spend every day with us. We can journey with God each day. I love knowing that God wants to spend every day with me. It gives me comfort, especially when I can't live with my family every day anymore. Well, uh, you're going to have to share with your family how they can journey with God because I can see an island with a ram looking rock right ahead. Yes! My home! I can't wait to get there! We might work together to get the boat sailing towards Ram Island. We'll be back once we get to shore and set up our tent. Now that we have the cubby tent all set up, do you want to go looking for your family, Brownie? No, but this is definitely my home island. What? Why don't you want to go looking for your family? It's been such a long time that I've been on this island, I'm not sure where they might be today. But I do have an idea about how to get my family to come to us. Hmm, really? That's excellent. What do you need us to do to help? Well, my whole family won't come, 
But I can get my Uncle Bob to come for sure. You just need to follow my plans exactly and Uncle Bob will come. Just like God's people had to follow God's plan for the tabernacle for God to come to them. This should be fun. What do we need to do? We need to make a watermelon trap. First, find a watermelon, some toothpicks, a box, a stick and some string. <laughs> this might uh, take us a bit of time. Maybe you could do some stretches while we make our watermelon trap. We'll be back in a minute. Well, we've followed all of Branny's instructions. Let's wait and see if his Uncle Bob will actually come. Shh, we have to be very quiet. Oh look, something has set off our watermelon trap. Let's see if I can get it out without the culprit running away. Well, it does look like something has bitten a hole in the watermelon. Uncle Bob, Uncle Bob, are you there? Brownie, is that you? Did these big monsters trap you too? I thought you'd sailed away across the sea. They didn't trap me and you're not trapped either. Actually, they rescued me from a monster and took me sailing all around to find my home. On the way, they taught me about God, the Bible, church, and Jesus. Monsters? Sailing? The Bible? Wow, you'll have a big story to tell us all about your journey. I can't wait to tell my family. I didn't know how to find you all, but I knew this watermelon trap would get you to come to us. Your family will be so happy to see you, Brownie. But I'm afraid your friends can't come. It's too small a hole to get into. And your family would run away if they saw these big people coming. That's okay. We're just so glad that you came and found Brownie and you can get him home safely. We should get going so we can get back to our cubby house as soon as possible. It was so wonderful to meet you, Brownie and to journey so far together. And we learn so much too. I'm sad to say goodbye, but I'm excited to see my family and tell them all that I've learned. I know we can't be together every day anymore, but I will still have God with me every day. Hope you both have a safe trip back to the cubby house. I'll be sure to tune in and hear what book of the Bible we'll learn about next. Actually, we won't be studying just one book, but rather a few different stories and books of the New Testament. We'll be learning about the church and what the church is sent to do and proclaim. That sounds like a great new series, Megan. And I think before we should go, we should have time for one more music time with Meg. I have a song about how God used to live in a temple, but now lives in the people of his church. That's an excellent idea. Why don't you grab an instrument and join us for one last music time with Meg and Brownie. Music time with Meg. Let's sing about God's house. God used to dwell in a house among his people. But now he has a home that's better than the first. It doesn't look like a building with a steeple. Cause now God's living with the people of his church. Brick after brick, God is building his temple. Brick after brick, he is making it strong. With Christ's sure foundation and its people as its home, he is building a place he can live brick after brick. Christ is the rock on which everything's depending. He's making sure his house is steady as can be. His love is strong and his promises unending. And
and he'll protect his church from all our enemies. Brick after brick, God is building his temple. Brick after brick, he is making it strong. With Christ the sure foundation and his people as the stones, he is building a place he can live. Brick after brick. All God's people gather around, singing out with joyous sound, giving glory to their maker. They build each other up as they share the bread and cup to remember our Savior. Brick after brick, God is building his temple. Brick after brick, he is making it strong. With Christ the sure foundation and his people as the stones, he is building a place he can live. Brick after brick. Brick after brick. Brick after brick. Good singing, everyone. That was such a great song to sing and so wonderful to have Brownie and Uncle Bob with us to sing this song together. I think we should pray and then we'll see you next week at the Cubby House. Why don't you pray with me? Dear Heavenly Father, thank you that you want to live with your people. Please help us to spend each do day doing what pleases you. Thank you for Jesus. Amen. Amen. We'll see you next week at the Cubby House. Bye. In the Cubby House, it's time.